So he actually credits Henry Mantise for helping him to understand some things about color, paint, how to put the paint on the canvas. And he credits Henry Mantise with basically changing his painting. Hi, this is Anita with 5 Minutes with Art. Today I want to talk a little bit about Mark Rothko, a great American abstract expressionism artist, but also in particular his relationship with Henry Matisse, the French artist. In 1954, Mark Rothko painted a painting which was called Homage to Matisse. Well, this is interesting because throughout his life, Mark Rothko was known to be a bit kind of as an artistic radical. He never really saw himself as being as one group or another group. He saw himself as being an independent painter. But yet in 1954, he painted this painting, which he called Homage to Matisse. And this is labeled very different than many of his other paintings, which just had numbers on them, like number seven, number six. And then they would simply have the color after that. But this painting was his personal tribute to the French artist Henri Matisse. And it was a painting that he held on to for a long time and kept his possession because it was a painting that meant a lot to him. Mark Rothko developed his painting style in about 1949. But it was also known that during this time at the New York the homage to Matisse had a very personal meaning to Mark Rothko. He told friends that he credited the French artist Matisse with an understanding of color and how to use color. He was also known to tell some of his friends that he owed a lot of his success in it, the way he was painting and the understanding of how to use paint to Henry Matisse and how he used the color. Legend has it, or people say, that Mark Rothko's painting technique changed drastically when he saw a painting by Henry Mantis that was called The Red Studio. And this is a painting that Mantis painted in 1911. In 1949, in the New York Museum of Modern Art, they had an exhibition of Henry Matisse, and in that exhibition was this painting called The Red Studio. And Mark Rothko was known to go and to visit that painting time and time again. And he'd sit in front of that painting, he'd study the painting. In fact, a lot of his friends would wonder, like, why are you wasting your time? Why do you keep going in and looking at this painting by the old French master, Henry Matisse? But Mark Rothko said, you become that color. You become totally saturated with it as if it were music. You remember when I used to pass my days at the Museum of Modern Art looking at Mantis Red Studio? Why, always that and only that picture? You thought I was wasting my time? But this house you owe to Mantis Red Studio. And from those months and that looking every day, all my paintings was born. So he actually credits Henry Mantis for helping him to understand some things about color, paint, how to put the paint on the canvas, and he credits Henry Mantis with basically changing his painting. We do know that in 1949, after this exhibition, and after he spent time looking at this pa the painting by Mantis, that his style drastically changed. And we have now the style which Mark Rothko is so famous for today. That's what makes this painting, The Homage to Mantis, such an interesting painting, because it really does show what he thought of Henry Mantis and how much he credited him for his success as a painter and for understanding color. And yes, when you look at Henry Mantis's paintings and Mark Rothko's paintings, they are very different in how they look. But if you look at some of the background color and how Henry Mantis applied the paint, you can see some of the similarities and some of the techniques that they both used. I love this story about Henry Mantis and Mark Rothko because it kind of shows the kind of man that Mark Rothko was, not only as a painter, but as a human being, that he never forgot Henry Mantis and what Henry Mantis taught him through his painting, The Red Studio. Thank you so much for listening. We hope you've enjoyed our podcast. And this is Anita with Anita Louise Art. And if you'd love to learn more about this great 
abstract expression as an artist, Mark with Co. Check out our website on needlelouiseart.com. And thank you so much for listening. We really appreciate you. We want to thank our crew, in particular Rico, that helps us put together these podcasts. And we know that without them and without you listening, this would not be possible. Thank you so much.